blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to connect multiple networks using a route okay so i'm going to open the google spreadsheet and let you know today we're in number two of the routing technologies okay all right so uh by default uh the devices in different um uh, networks cannot communicate so we need a router or any layer 3 device in between them to facilitate their communication. So for example, in this topology here, I have devices in IT department and sales department. As you can see, they are in different, different networks. 160, 192, 168, 1.0 and 2.0, okay? So I have already uh, let step that I want to flow to achieve this objective. So uh, the first step, Draw a topology, decorate, and comment. So as you can see, firstly, we have to make a topology with the two switches, with the PCs connected. Then, number three, assign the PCs IP address as per the subnet, and try to ping. The ping should not work, okay? We're going to assign these computers IP addresses based on this subnet. These two IP computers based on these two uh, on based on this subnet okay and try to ping from it department to sales department it should never ping okay why because they belong to different networks and there's no any layer 3 device that can facilitate uh the communication of different networks right okay so let's assign ip addresses for so for example this pc should take uh let's say 1.5 let's start from 1.5 going forward so let's make it Come to config there, make it 1.5. Uh, Submit mask will remain that one. Then we come to this one and we do the same. So let's make it 1.6. Submit mask will remain that one. When you come to this side, this one should be 2.1, 2.3. I mean 2.5, 2.6. Okay. All right. So um, come to a P config and let it be 2.5. Copy that. Okay. And this one will be 2.6. Very simple. Assigning IP addresses and testing ping between different networks. So I'm just going to try to ping from this PC to this PC. So this PC is um, 2.5. Okay. And this one is um, 2.6. So let me just go here and try to ping. Ping. 1 and 2.168.2.5. It will never ping. Why? Because these devices, they belong to different networks and there's no any other layer 3 device to facilitate their communication. But if I can just try to ping this one, which was 1.6, it will ping because they're in the same uh, local network. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, let me just cancel that and try to ping 1.6. You see 1.6 is pinging because they're in the same local network. Okay. All right, so this is a remote network and it needs a layer 3 device so that's why we need this device here it's very very important a router is very very important in the network to facilitate uh, communication between different networks okay all right so let's proceed that's um number three is done so let's go include a router between the two switches and configure ip addresses to the router's interface so guys, I'm going to include this router, router between these two switches. So I'm going to delete this link here. Okay. All right. And connect it uh, using automatic. This router. Connect this to this switch here. Okay. Then we need to assign IP address to the router's interface. Okay. The first thing that we do, let's go to the router and turn these interfaces up you can see they are still red red meaning they're in shutdown state so let's turn it them up so we need we need to identify which interfaces are these this one is um um gig zero zero gig zero one okay so we're just going to see line and say no and enable uh config t and say interface range gig uh zero slash zero to one it's gig zero zero and gig zero ones okay and say no shut exits that's all and now if you can see them now they are 
green green okay and the links between and the switches are still transition okay so let's assign ip addresses to the router's interface so there's one thing that i want to say ip address of this interface must act as the default gateway of this it department lab ip address of this interface here must must hack as the default gateway of this LAN here, okay? Sales department LAN, right? Okay, so let's assign this one as uh, 1.1 1 .1, and this one is to 2.1, okay? So I'm going to 0.0, .0 uh, interface gig 0, 0 IP address to be 1.2.168.1.1 a separate mask of 255.255.255.0 and it enter exit then we go to this interface which is gig01 okay so interface gig01 okay then ip address to be 2.1 2.1 okay all right 2.1 exit and do right all right so we have made this router we have configured this router with ip addresses so let's tell the it department learn that your default gateway is the IP address of this interface. And let's tell sales department that its default gateway is the IP address of this interface. Very simple. So we go to computer. Let's tell it. Come to IP configuration. And uh, the default. Now you configure default gateway 168.1.1. And we just close. You come here and configure default gateway. Okay, very very simple. One and two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one, and you close. When you come on this side, you tell it that the default gateway is the IP address of this interface. So, uh, the default gateway there is one and two dot one sixty eight dot two dot one. We close. We tell this one the same. One and two dot one sixty eight dot two dot one. Good. So guys, I'll come back to this computer and try to ping again. Remember, the first time I tried to ping 2.5, you can see it was all time out. So let me try to ping again. Uh, good. So let's just give it time. It will ping. I believe it must ping because you've included a router there to facilitate communication between different networks. Okay. All right. You can see it's pinging. Let's come to this uh, PC here and try to ping 1.6. Ping 12.168.1.6 and hit enter. It must ping because there's a router to facilitate the communication between different networks. So it's very, very important to include a router in your network. And I believe, guys, these three videos really help you know how to connect multiple networks. You just have to tell the LAN that your default gateway is the IP address of the connecting router's interface. Okay? Alright, so I'll go back to our Google spreadsheet and mark number two as done. Right? Okay, so let's meet tomorrow when you're going to configure remote access using uh, Telnet and then SSH. Right? Okay. So thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, share with friends, and drop a comment below. Thank you so much, and let's see you again in the next class. Bye.